Now it is my honor to start this race. Gentlemen, start your engines. The President of the United States is guest of honor at the inaugural Nextel Cup race in Florida as 43 NASCAR drivers line up for the Daytona 500. Although stock car racing is as popular as ever stateside, this season will see significant changes. When the drivers hit the 26th race of the season, a playoff system will be implemented in which only the top 10 will be eligible to win the title. Although critics claim the changes do little to address the problem of rewarding conservative driving, with action like this on offer, such concerns can wait. Two-time Daytona champion Michael Waltrip, who has until now had a reputation for good luck on this oval, is caught up in the biggest crash of the race, ending hopes of a third title here. Former Winston Cup champion Tony Stewart dominates nearly half of the 200-lap event, leading for a race-high 97 laps. With 20 laps remaining, Dale Earnhardt Jr. makes his move. Little E, son of the sport's most popular driver ever, passes Stewart on the inside at over 190 miles per hour. Earnhardt holds on for the win to complete the third father-son combination to be victorious at Daytona, joining Lee and Richard Petty and Bobby and Davey Allison. The win is particularly poignant for the 29-year-old whose father was killed on the final lap of the 500 just three years ago. After the race in victory lane, Junior shows why he has taken over his father's popularity as he's quick to praise the driving of second-placed Stewart. He gave me room. He could have drove me off cross apron and let NASCAR decide who was blocking who or whatever, but uh, he made it a two-car race. I don't know. It just kind of got by somehow. I got some good air, and uh, praise the Lord, man. What an awesome day.